Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about Season 3 of Arrow. In case you guys didn't know, Arrow is a show on the CW. It happens to be my favorite current show that is airing, and I'm obsessed with it. If you want to know more of my thoughts on Arrow, besides what I'm going to be talking about in this video, you can follow me on Twitter, at CatSkyRider24. I tweet about Arrow on there all the time. So, First, I'm kind of going to go into my general thoughts on the season. In case you haven't seen it, I'm not going to give any spoilers. And then I'm going to go into more of my spoilery, in-depth thoughts on the entire season. So, as a whole, I liked the season, but I didn't love it. Season 1 of Arrow for me was good, but Season 2 is really when Arrow kind of became cemented as one of my favorite shows. It just had a complete story arc with the characters and the story, and I just thought it was amazingly well done. Especially some of the last episodes of Season 2 are still my favorite episodes of Arrow. It's just so well done, so much action, drama, and... Going into season three, I had very high hopes. I enjoyed the first few episodes of season three, and then it really went downhill for a while. There was a time when I was excited to watch Arrow, but it wasn't that, oh my gosh, I really need next week's episode now syndrome kind of thing. I liked the season. I didn't love it. There were some really good points, and yet some really bad points that just turned me off from the show overall. So if I had to rate it, like, Letter-wise, I'd probably give it a B-. minus. I'll go into what I thought were the good and bad things. Although, if you guys haven't watched Arrow yet, I would totally recommend it. It's such a great show. And overall, it's about this billionaire named Oliver Queen. And he's kind of a playboy. And five years ago, he gets stuck on an island. And the show focuses kind of on the five years he spent on the island. And then when he comes back and becomes sort of a vigilante, taking from the rich and giving to the poor. It's based on the Green Arrow comics. So... Now I'm going to go into spoiler thoughts on the season. If you haven't watched Arrow yet, I would definitely suggest it. So now I'm going to get started. Okay. So, we started off season three of Arrow very good. I loved the first episode. Kind of all of the little Elicity moments. In case you guys didn't know, I'm a huge Elicity shipper. One of my OTPs. But I thought that it was just a very good setup for the season. Kind of the question of Oliver's humanity and can he be human and the Arrow at the same time. Which is... I think a really good question and a good premise for the season. I feel like they really strayed from that a bunch in the middle, but then at the end it really came back. I loved the first kiss and the stuff with Sarah was very, very good. So after that, I felt like it was good. There was way too much Olicity angst for my taste. One of my favorite things about Olicity, Oliver and Felicity, is that they have a very solid friendly relationship they're great friends and I feel like that's really what helped their relationship and in this season there was just so much angst it made for some great moments but it also made for some moments where you want to tear your hair out just, oh my goodness that was one of my main problems with the season it's just too much of them not being together and kind of without any purpose so now I'm kind of going to talk about characters. Oliver, as I said, really probably went through the most change in character development this season. I feel like in the first half of the season, kind of before the ninth episode when he gets killed, is when he's kind of figure, he thinks he can't be Arrow and Oliver Queen. And then he gets killed, and then I feel like the character development stopped. He just kept closing himself off. And I feel like what happened in the ninth episode of the season should have kind of made him realize that he can be human, like that's who he's supposed to be. And I just felt like, especially after there until probably about episode 14, there was five episodes in there where I was just like, oh my god, what is even happening? I feel like the middle of the season, they just completely lost track of what they were doing. They were just focused on Roz and not really Oliver as a character in and of itself. By the end, he kind of redeemed himself, but I feel like by the end of the season, it's just he was terrible and then he was all of a sudden like perfect again. I feel like his character development was a little off this season. Now we're going to talk about my favorite character, which is Felicity Smoke. I love her. I felt like her character development this season was very good. Kind of being there for Oliver and kind of establishing how much Oliver means to her because you know from season two that she likes him. And this season, she doesn't say I love you until the end of the season. I feel like that's good because she's realizing how much she would do for him and even 
how much she cares about him. And I feel like that made for some good moments. I was not a fan, however, of her relationship with Ray, just because I understood why she had to have it, because she, Oliver, didn't want to be with her and could not be with her, so she went with someone else, but it was still just very frustrating. I am not a fan of Ray Palmer at all. I know he's going to be on the other CW show, Legends of Tomorrow, which I am going to check out, but I'm not too excited for that. Another standout character of the season was definitely Diggle, always the rock, always being there. I felt like the stuff with Diggle and his brother was really good and kind of with the, especially the Deadshot episode was amazing and Diggle and Oliver's relationship. I feel like the end of the season was kind of something that had to happen. They're not really the bro TP anymore. But I feel like that will be examined more in Season 4. I heard that in Season 4 we're going to get more backstory on Felicity and Diggle, which is great. And another character that I felt like had some good development this season is Laurel. One criticism of Arrow for me in the past is I hate Laurel. I don't like her character development. I just don't feel like she's well written. I don't know if it's the actress or the writing. And I feel like this season she kind of came into her own a little bit. She was less there to just torment Oliver and Felicity and she kind of came into her own. But I still don't like her as the Black Canary. I really liked Sarah a lot more. So, talked about the beginning, middle, end of the season I felt like was very good. The kind of qu answering the question, can Oliver be Oliver Queen and the Arrow? And the answer is he can't be either. So ending the season like they did with him riding off in the sunset fel with Felicity, I liked. Not because I'm a fan of Olicity, I just felt like that was the right decision for him. He couldn't be the Arrow anymore, he couldn't be Oliver Queen anymore, so he kind of has to go off and reinvent himself, which I felt like was a good decision. My only really criticism of the season finale is it felt too packaged in a little bow, everything was too perfect. I felt like at the end of season two, although everything was resolved, I was emotionally gutted and I was just like, oh my gosh, just so much. And now I'm not really sure where they're going to go from here. I think that's go definitely going to be an interesting thing. I know that they're probably going to go into more with Hive. I heard that they might go into more with the Russian Bratva. I heard also that Damien Dark is going to be the main villain, which I know one of the theories going around on the internet, I'm not sure if it's true or not, is that Damien Dark is Felicity's father. So I feel like that would be an amazing backstory because I already love Mama Smoke, so I feel like I'd like him too, and kind of seeing Felicity's relationship with her father developed would be very interesting. So now I'm going to go through some of my favorite episodes. I love the first episode of the season, along with the second episode I felt like a Sarah centric ne episode was necessary especially as a send-off. Love Sarah as a character and the goodbye was very fitting. It was very well done especially with Oliver's denial and Felicity and I felt like that was just such a good scene. I also love the episode where Oliver and Thea go to Leon Yu and meet with Deathstroke again. I felt like he was such a good villain for season two, especially with the story and kind of bringing him back and seeing how he still has an effect on Oliver was great. I also loved episode 17 with Deadshot. I felt like that was such an amazing episode, especially for Diggle because A, it was his wedding. So yay, Diggle and Lila. I'm so happy for them. And then just what happens to him. I'm still mad that they killed off Deadshot. Not gonna lie, still a little salty about that. But I feel like that was just an amazing episode. And of course, I have to mention episode 20 as an Olicity fan. I felt like it was very fitting. The sex scene and the I love you scene were just very well done. And I felt like there was a lot of good moments this season. And my favorite, personal favorites, are probably from episode 9 when Oliver told Felicity that he loved her, finally. And the from episode 12, I believe, when Felicity says, I don't want to be a woman that you love. I felt like that was my favorite scene of the entire season. But even, which is weird because it's not an Oliver and Felicity moment and those tend to be my favorite but I felt like that really showed who Felicity was as a person. She wasn't going to wait for Oliver. She wasn't going to pull it up with his crap anymore and she just wanted him but if he didn't want her then she was going to go on with her life. So that's kind of my thoughts on Arrow as a whole. Wasn't a huge fan of the Elicity angst and the story kind of went wacko for a while, although I am very excited for season four and to see what they're going to do. If you guys watch Arrow, then let me know what you thought of the season in the comments down below. I'd love to chat about this show with you guys, so thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon.